Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we will talk about how to convert a data table to an Excel file. So in this tutorial we'll explore how to create an Excel file from a data table programmatically in C Sharp using the Iron Excel library. In order to use the Iron Excel library we have to create a C Sharp console application in Visual Studio. I'm using the 2022 version of Visual Studio and you can use any version that you'd like but the latest is always recommended. Here, I've created a C Sharp console application with .NET 6 framework. Iron Excel supports the latest version of the .NET framework. And you'll need to install the Iron Excel library in the project. As you can see, I've already installed it, and you can install it using the NuGet package manager uh, or from the NuGet website. So let's go ahead and close the NuGet tab and move to the program file. So here you can see the code for creating an Excel file from a data table. Firstly, we'll need to import the Iron Excel library into the program file by writing using Iron Excel at the top of the program file. We'll also import system.data namespace so we can create data tables. So next we need to create a method to convert data table to Excel using a file name as a parameter. In this method, first we'll create a data table and then create column headers uh, using the column property and add method. After that, uh, we'll create row data. Now we need to create a workbook object with the Excel file format as XLSX and then create a default worksheet to write the data into it. Uh, we can then display the columns by setting the cell value in the first row of the worksheet and setting the row count to 2 for inserting rows. We'll then use a for each loop to read the data table row values one by one and add the value to the worksheet. So in this line, each time the loop executes, it will read the row value and set it to the worksheet cell. Because the row variable is an array with only one index, we use zero to get the value of that row. Then we increment the row count variable to insert on new row each time. And then finally, we're going to save the Excel file using the save as function. Now let's go ahead and run the project and wait for the processing to complete. and open the, the generated Excel file. And here you can see the output generated by the uh, Iron Excel from the data table. And Iron Excel is a great library for generating Excel files as it provides a easy to use functionality in order to manipulate data and format data tables. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. And as always, if you need any help, our support team is standing by ready to assist.